Yeah, Curse Eternal Chest. F. That's the wrong bounty. So let's do another Act 2 one. Stop. I wonder if it's actually faster to kill a boss at level 2 with Bone Spear. Maybe. Let's just do 500% instead of 120. It's like four times the damage. It's pretty good. Do 12 damage instead of three, dude. That's a Templar actually. Doing three. Oh, we got really good items though. And I forgot to TP around everywhere again. We have blood collection again. Uh oh. But let's do that level 4, it's also fine. Data Western channel. Level 2. Yeah, well. At least we can do this. Let's do blood collection, that was like the hardest one. Yeah, I should have snapshot this level 1. Maybe just gonna redo the game. This guy's gonna rip me apart here. Well, maybe we can just kite them. And then kill these guys here. And explode everything. Oh boy, they're tanky. Okay, if I was exploding my way through, it's okay. And last time this guy was way more scary. And I was higher level. I wonder if a Morton kills you on this level. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. Not terrible. Any rings? F. Make sure it's the next to must before I level up. I did that. Holy National. Uh, 10 Vitality rings, I guess. Something. Let's do the Western Channel, because it's probably the next hardest bounty. You definitely want to prioritize the bounties in the order of how hard they are once you reach them. Every level up makes everything way harder. But you also want to reach level 18 by the time you're done, so... You have to kill some stuff. You have 10 damage right now. You don't even have a weapon here. And my starting weapon is 7.2 or sometimes it's 8.4 DPS. So I have like a worst case scenario, I have like no damage. Need a weapon, man. Actually there's a club, plus 16%. Yeah. Let's go. I guess he's gonna go to level 2, get the Massacre, and we are probably 11, and get the Chandra's weapon.
August Legacy is out. Now already. Should I just like let it drop the massacre? Oh, somehow it did drop. Okay, time to go back, I guess. Need a cursed chest. Kinda nice. We actually save it. What do we get out of it? We can use this later, maybe. Say all enemies before the timer ends. Just leave this here. Get the TP. Get our weapon. By death, gift of death. Oh, didn't work. But we have big damage now. Let's go. From Brooks, 50 at 18, 14, 50 at 22. Yeah, they do very little. I mean, if it's there on the way, you just click it, sure, but that's about it. Okay, this is done. Okay, let's TP out with, with T, and we run back later at level 18 to get the chest. I want to see if it drops the diamonds. It's gonna be very nice if it does. Golem. Bloody mess. Oh, you have to do 150 kills here. Yeah. You're a tiny bit tanky or squishy? Uh, it's pretty tanky right now. We can do pretty greedy setups on it, actually. Kind of guy, I guess. When a storm hurts. What does he want from me, man? He just keeps running after me. I just got the heals and stuff. There's gonna be a long bounty here, 150 kills in the races. level after if you do it later after the boss bounty. Yeah I mean it's just a tiny bit of experience as I said. It's not really a point to go there and click it. But if you run past him, sure click it. We have 50 kills. Some of the worms, let's kind of look at those. Star just had his bone spear for Necro, yes. Pretty good. Just need to get Horn of Visions and you're blasting. So I just start and invest everything into that, basically. Oof, they're like really high level.
This bit is still okay at least. But Act 2 definitely seems overall pretty fast if you do it well in the right order and stuff. But yeah, figuring out which bounties to do when is pretty, pretty crucial to do this fast. Like you always start with a cold salt and cool. But then you have to figure out the right order basically. Wake up up is nice again, as opposed to all the seasons and had not been nice, you mean? Because we worked in season 26 already and that's been pretty pork since then. Guess we're killing the keyboard in here. Let's go. Okay, let's try let's try the cash. Western channel, level two, we have to walk back a little bit. It's not far. Actually let's open this one as well. Incoming. Okay, no diamond. So this What? The chest disappeared. There was a cursed chest here. It's gone. What? <laughs> it's just a oh, I got an emerald. I got a squirt, dude. <laughs> That's a big drop, actually. <laughs> it's just gone, man. Yeah, this would be huge, yeah, getting a squirt. I'm gonna use it now, though. Almost done anyway. So even at this point, I'm still like easy before uh, 20 minutes done with everything, including cube. Yeah, I could still go to the cube and still get my diamonds and I'll be sub 20 probably. Let's see. We have six and a half minutes and we just walked around for like a minute for no reason. The cross chest. So I can definitely do it quite consistently sub 20 minutes. On a good round, probably like 15. Getting the cube, getting the T1 bounty and the diamonds. So you have 15 minutes to 20 minutes preparation and then you start your main. Or in my case, I'm just going to continue leveling with the Necro Brody. Okay, these guys are not level 1 snapshots. Last time they were, it's very strange, man. Last time I walked in here and everything was snapshot level 1. Now it's not. Why? <laughs> but these guys are again, man. What? Something's really odd here. It's so weird. Yeah, all these guys are low level. Besides, like this elite pack. I'm not sure why this elite pack is not. Keep sell level at 1. I think I need to be 10 levels higher, or 11. How many materials is this again? Yeah, enough. We got a random legendary from this thing. Look at that. <laughs> 82 DPS, by the way. Squirts, hardcore. Yeah, of course. Always squirts.
Increase that gold, add chance of cash. <laughs> that would be nice, but I guess they don't have the technology for that. Oh, here's a chest. I can do that on the way, I suppose. That's actually really good because they can also get the diamonds. So probably worth doing. Let's check if that's something cool here. It is. It's on hard, but it's fine. No stockers in any of those helms. Now, Act 1, the problem is like all the bosses are gonna be really slow. I mean, first of all, some of them are dangerous, like Butcher. But you know, Queen of RNA, super slow fight, you have to run forever. Butcher, you have to run forever. Yeah, Skeleton King, you don't need to run very long, but it's a super long fight again. So you don't really want to do the Act 1 bosses, that's the problem. Salt and Cool is really easy. Kill the Edge, he's basically dead. Let's get the level up, you get the extra skill. Now, I think the strat on live server is to go get the cube as well, guys. This is why I'm doing it. And it's going to be done with all this shit, basically. I have the bounty in the, in, the, in the pocket. And we get the cube. It's not legendary. Holy shit. It's the third one. We level 24. I right hear. Broken ground. Damn, that's the wrong one. Yeah, I think around now would probably be the time I hit level 18 on live server, I guess. Oh shit. Definitely don't go there. Yeah, it's like a 20 minutes run. I think 20 minutes is a pretty realistic time frame. A decent run. I wasted like a minute earlier for just running to the chest that was not there. Let's get this thing. Best potion. It's usually the salt and cool potion or the CC immunity, depending on the class. Excellent prime. Just to that rock. Intelligence class go to armor one. Yeah, uh, usually I think the CC immunity is the way. But I guess next, not next season because you're immune anyway.
Let's see if we can do a stone cool and hard. Okay, that's super easy. <laughs> Ruby, 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 Emerald Amethyst. Well, let's go again. He had no gloves so far, and these are pretty insane. He almost level 30. <laughs> I can almost just like get blood rush and rush to the boss. Lyle, I guess not. America does break walls, yeah. Found it out last season. Sold and cool again. Ah, nice jump, go Golem. He just got stuck there and didn't actually jump. Ruby, 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 Ruby. <laughs> Diamond. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 10 rubies. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> what is going on? Yeah, I guess two kills is like the average. At two kills, you're pretty safe with getting two diamonds, I guess. Look how many gems it is. Oh, yeah, true. We have the broken crown. That's why I get so many. But still, I think two kills is just the average. Maybe three. Let's do mark down, I guess. Why no diamond? I didn't have a diamond. <laughs> I guess I would have two now. But yeah, it's actually... Oh, wait, I had to. Oh, true, we have to. Never mind. I guess we're done. I put one in the ring for no reason. You're right. Okay. So this was like minus one minute, minus yeah, minus two minutes maybe because I'm Pepega. So like 22 minutes. Okay. Yeah, I didn't realize I had one already. I was just only looking at one. Dude, I found four legendaries on this run. What's going on? So now it'll be interesting to see if you just like keep leveling this necro. I think I'm gonna continue this level run. And see how long that will take if you can do like sub one hour from here. That's. Yeah, if you pause it for two minutes basically, because of the pick up moments, you would have almost 40 minutes. There is no PTR bar for Magic Find, it's only for XP. Eh? Okay. Monster Hunter, let's go. Templar. Should we equip the squirts? Just because? Yeah, well, let's do it. I guess you get lucky drops sometimes. Can see if there's anything here. That is pretty good actually. I got two handed sword. Get out of 60 weapon. Has int and vitality and life on kill. And I guess we're blasting. So the question is do we go mages or go nova? Kinda like this combo I have to be honest. But maybe nova is just a play. It's like one shot I think it's 350%. Maybe E. But maybe it's fine having them the, the skellies and stuff. In level 30, we drop the golem and get blood rush. And I guess you could get the crapify in here for safety, but maybe we don't need it. And we're running. Okay. 
Okay, I think I paused the timer long enough. Let's do this. Let's go torment four, I guess. Yeah, you have to do a hardcore if you want to practice. Ooh. Thank you so much. Shambish. I'll stand the first one time. Let's see. Guess we should like pre summon some of the mages. Maybe it would be a good idea to go devour actually instead of the golem. We have enough corpses here. Which just allows me to just spam mages and run. And then we kind of, like, if you have enough kill speed, it's gonna be super easy. Yeah, if you just, like, run with our mages. So we get, now we get Blood Rush. Probably remove even the, the skellies. After this run, I guess. It's Bane. Goodbye, Bane. What was Ruby acquired? <laughs> Getting cops too fast, I just cast Cause Explosion and the cops disappeared. Exactly what I was casting. F. Actually, even when I'm perma casting, I can't sustain the mages, man. Okay. But yeah, this is pretty good. The mages, that's good, I think. Got a double chest. We're gonna lose the massacre for it, but it's a lot of loot. And I guess we finish the bounty and go again. It's fine. Maybe go Torment 3, just so you can run through this, just like we did. I think it's gonna be quite nice, just like run with the mages, pretty fast. And then after that, we get a level 70 weapon, go back to Torment 4 and do it again. And then go to Torment 3, do it again. Pretty chilling. We should be like pretty close to 60 already. Let's get Blood Rush. <sighs> Maybe don't even do like any cost explosion. Maybe I keep my guys. We have extended servitude already, we have fueled by death, we can do cheat death, that's kinda nice. Anything else? That's dark reaping, which you cannot do actually. We could actually do it if you had a scythe. Hmm. Then we could do singularity. Okay, let's get blood rush here. Let's do transfusion for the heals. Give me the gift for 20 rifts. <laughs> Go again. Good luck, guys, wins so well. Okay, can we buy something? Explosion, I guess, for now. 
so sometimes you can use it. Yeah, boom. Just bought an amulet, I guess. Actually, no, that was something else. I need to remember to press the bar. What is the radius on this? Oh, 60 yards? That's actually huge. 60 yards? 60 yards. It's like the entire screen, man. Okay, that's actually nice. So I can still keep spamming. And then every time you spawn me, she get like half of it back already, just from the devourer. Eight. I'm getting someone else to open the cache on Dock 70. Yes, you don't need fanboys for that, you just need someone from the other region who does it and you do it for them. Just trade. It's a simple transaction. Tom. Oh, I almost got a bonus just again. <laughs> Very nice. No. Oof. That's close. Can't open the chest though. Because we already have the bounty to go to Vidian. So it's very easy to find the right path. Didn't want to lose the massacre here. Sun rune. I should have taken the sun rune on the bone armor. It's gonna be mm, very helpful. It's kind of funny with the doubled gem drops here with broken crown. It's not that terrible actually for leveling like this. So you do have quite a bunch of gems extra like this that are useful. Yeah, we get 400. That's nice. Probably after this massacre, we're like 50 something already. Don't even have our level 70 weapon yet. Good though. Mm, let's just put a mentality here. Two minutes safe. Let's do that. Because I can get the dark reaping passive. How much would I play? We need to spend 15 to 30 a month to be competitive. Well, that seems like a very moderate amount, but the answer is yes. But realistically, that won't happen, so it doesn't really matter. This is an awful weapon, man. We take the int. It's gonna be very squishy, but it's plus 300% damage. 
Uh, let's try. Let's try Tomon 4 again. Uh, do we go Dark Creeping or not, actually? Maybe it's kind of useless. I think the other passes are better. But is she deaf and all? Yeah, there's no pay to win in the 4 guys. Uh, apart from like the, the player economy pay to win, of course. You know, there's gonna be people selling gold and, and items and stuff. But it's nothing directly to do with Blizzard, I guess. And also, no, you know, real competitive player is gonna do that because of the risk of getting caught. So if you get caught, then you're fucked, basically. So. Or most of the competitors necessarily will simply revolve around things like, you know, server first, world first, these kind of things, where no one can really trade you anything anyway. Dying, by the way. So this is also how I expect most of the competition to work, just like, you know, it's all like in the first week of the season or so, where like all the competit competitiveness actually takes place. And then after that it's kind of like whatever. So it doesn't matter if people are raiding. I don't think I need the Vow very much anymore, actually. Maybe I can do something else instead. I don't really use it. Let's take first chest here. Yes, okay. <laughs> Let's go, I guess. I guess actually instead of this gift of death or whatever it's called, with the corpse after the mages, so there's like the one when they last longer, right? But I think it also costs life, so probably not a good idea. Don't we have a good life sustain right now? It would be good to get like the circle of an illusion, man. That would be insane here. So that would be a low level ring, like, so you can get it early. We have to go up. Okay, this could be a huge run, man. But you might actually over level. I don't want to get 60. Well, 61 at least. 60 is fine. 61 would be a bit the yikes. We're probably gonna get it. Yeah, doesn't matter. Let's go. More.
Oh, perfect. 59. Okay. Should we try 203 at 59? That might be a bit yikes. But maybe. Nothing here. That sucks. Let's do this. A lot of toughness. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of toughness. I don't think we could really buy more now, anyway. Actually, we could, I guess, but. Let's see, I can check this one. This is fine. And this one. And this one. Okay, let's try Tormund 3. Might be a bit yikes. Maybe Tormund 2. Ah, uh, it's still 59, it's worth it. Doing a bit harder. I guess the freestyle R is a way more pay to win game than D4, when you think about it that way. Is there anything else to take, really? Nah, I'm gonna keep the devour. Is the one rashes? No, which one is it? Can't empathize for the heals. Why is the boy cost 10%? Hmm. I'm gonna try one round of contamination. Neighbors is pretty good. Just get like some of the little bugs and then explode. No, I actually don't like it already. That's the 20 massacre, nice. I could have updated the ruby in the helm. Yeah, uh, Torment 3 is a bit rough. I think you're gonna get the 400 massacre and then goodbye. We'll see. I kind of wanna. I actually got that 100 here. Damn. Okay, where do we go? Here, I guess. Look, 
Ping ist hier ist da. Fang should be a sub one hour run from 1 to 70, including the bounty and everything, as well as. Can't need to follow the discussion there. Yeah, for the other four is not gonna be pay the win, guys. Much as you wanna discuss about it. This is gonna be big actually. So this video worth it, doing some three massacre. I got a bunch of items too. I haven't pressed the once in this round. <laughs> I'm not sure what to put there, man. 67, let's go. I think I was going to do it on Tommy, Tommy 1, do like one big run, and that's it. Actually, we got a Marquise. And this is no vitality on a weapon, it's pretty nice. I actually feel tanky enough for that. I can do this, we don't need the broken crown anymore. I can put this here, I guess. Oh, this means a socket, though. Let's try to can roll one. I can do more than three attempts, so I guess not. Let's do this instead.
isn't worth to do a rift. You have to do a rift at level 70 for the season journey, I believe. I don't think you can do it before 70. Okay, this might be the last run. Still not sure what to put here, but let's just go. Because I have to keep my massacre bonus, so I left click a lot actually. And then I also do cult explosions. So I don't just cast mages. We don't really have anything else to put there. Maybe we can just go to golem again. But no, they're getting they're blasting me though. T1. I forgot to check for some monsters here before we continue. We can get something here. Looks like no. Ouch. That hurts. some bugs to start exploding here. Any? Three bugs. Amazing. I should probably do this on master at this point. These guys are getting too tanky. Can't reduce the door on hardcore. Uh, here are all the bugs, but they're not here on the big guys. Those big guys that die. That cost explosion gloves will be no problem, man. I would like destroy everything here. Like, this is a bit too weak. Nice knockback into the arcane, man.
Ach. Almost entire room empty. Okay, we might actually hit 7 a with this massacre. It's Tom at 1. What are you gonna get? Like 600 or so? Should be enough. Or close. I think I should remove air damage completely. Well, I mean, they're like 8 years late for that. But uh, yeah, in an expansion or so, that would have been the move for sure. Caused a lot of problems. I mean, I don't like that it removes like a really like high skill ceiling mechanic from the game, but on the other hand, it just caused so many problems. And I mean, it also doesn't make sense, like, you know, <laughs> as a stat, like why? Why do you do more damage the more targets you hit? Like, what, what reason? Is there for that? You already do more DPS anyway because you hit more targets. Why do you have to have exponential the scaling? This makes no sense from a like game design perspective, in my opinion. It even builds without air damage. Actually, I would say actually feel, say they feel better because suddenly you can actually like deal a pretty good damage against bosses and elites and stuff. Which you just can't do with air damage builds, really. When you're only fighting an elite or only a boss. Okay, let's see how much this is. 70. Boom. 57 minutes. Now it's not 100% accurate for timer because I was sucking in town earlier and we had this like incident with the cursed chest and stuff. But yeah. It's sub 1. It's pretty nice. And this is for the entirety of 1 to 70, including the bounty run. The other the other runs were without the bounty run, because they were like, you know, just like plus 20 minutes basically counted. This was nice. Yeah, the mages are carrying hard. I'm not sure what to do with the devourer. I can't really figure out another skill to use here. Could put the command skeletons as like a meat shield again. Could put a curse just because. But really, no. Is there like something that gives me essence, maybe? There is like one, I think. Two essence and a cursed enemy dies. You could do frailty with harvest essence, perhaps. Everything else kind of whatever, I guess. Simulacrum. This only unlocks at level 61 anyway, right? Revives. We have 10% damage reduction, maybe. I guess you could do that. I'm not sure if they're dying. Wait, they only last 19 seconds, yeah, never mind. Yeah, I guess you might do the skellies after all. It's just like dark mending or something. But only when they command it. Target is frozen for 3 seconds when commanded. Yeah. Just to golem, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, I did. I did one run, Torment 1, Act 2, Bounty. Uh, then I farmed, I think, three times the boss until I had my diamonds. So I was actually relatively unlucky, I guess. I think the average would be two runs. And yeah, then I started blasting in terms of the first one, basically. And I got the cube as well. I have the cube. So I'm fucking ready to blast at this point. So without the PTR buff, I think it does not apply to the Massacre bonuses. We only get 100% bonus on the kills, and the kills are maybe a third of the total, I'd say, or maybe a bit more. Hard to say, really. With the buff, so without like maybe a, a sixth, a fifth, a, a, maybe 20%. So I don't think it will be that much slower on live server. Could probably do like 115 on live server with no charge of cash. That's pretty good. 
Yeah, after the season journey now. Yeah, I mean, as a Necro, the Bone Spear set doesn't help you at all until you have the full set and potentially Haunt of Visions. So I think at this point, I would just start blasting Rift. You know, just go Rifts, get your key, uh, get like a few keys on like, I don't know what, something that is like really fast, like hard, just like rush through basically in like three minutes per Rift. Get like three, four keys, get your LOD gem, get your Hadrix, 